I want to tell you about the nurses station. It is a place that's roomy. It's the biggest area the staff has ever had to work with. There's lots of supplies. We have access to our computers. We actually are having uh, a total of 12 nurses. We've got six RNs because the RNs are required to do the basic assessment on our patients. And then we have LPNs and then we'll have five CNAs and they will actually work 12 hour shifts. So we'll have 7A to 7P, 7P to 7A. And it'll be a team approach. Uh, I've been very selective. I'm so excited about the staff I've hired because I have a very cohesive, uh, very qualified, I say out of the whole organization of St. Menards, I have the best staff. And I have been blessed enough to be able to find that same quality of employees for the hospice house. We have actually moved two employees over for the, from the home hospice and they're gonna work over here. And you met Donna Lowe mm -hmm. earlier. She's gonna be our patient care manager. So I feel very confident in, and this is hard for me, stepping away at night from a facility that's gonna be open 24 seven, but I'm gonna be able to do that because I've got staff that are qualified and I feel confident can take care of our patients. So if, if somebody out there wants to work in hospice, I mean, what would you tell them? What does it take to become a hospice nurse? We actually suggest that you have a couple of years experience in either the home care setting or the acute care setting. But I have hired new graduates before. The main thing is that they, I think they have to have a love for geriatric patients. Um, we don't suggest that they've experienced a loss of a loved one in the last 12 months, six months to 12 months, because that can be hard because we're taking care of patients that you know are gonna die. But anybody that's interested, all they gotta do is go back to our St. Bernard's Info website, and we post all our jobs on that website. Right now, we are fully staffed, uh, with the exception of one PRN, RN, and a PRN CNA position. I will tell you this, we can't hire patient care techs. We do have to have certified nurses aid for for hospice, for hospice care, whether it's at home or in the inpatient facility. But just keep an eye on the web on the web page for St. Bernard's because we post all our jobs there. Okay. But we've been blessed to have some great applicants. And you talked about um, the home care. How, what, tell me a little bit about that, how that's different than here at the hospice house. What makes the two separate? And, and how, will we continue to have the home care at St. We Bernard's? We will continue to have the home care because the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation actually did a study and most people prefer to die at home, but you know as well as I do, that's not always feasible. So we will have a majority of patients in the home care and this will complement that. So we've got some additional services to offer them. Uh, in the home care side, we do only hire RNs. There are no LPNs and of course we do have the CNAs that provide personal care. I should also let you know though that we will have social workers here too because we take care of the patient on a holistic uh, approach and so we cover the whole gamut and it's not just the patient, it's the entire family and the social workers are instrumental in that. We couldn't do it without them. That means a lot. It does yeah. mean a lot. And then of course, you know, you've got our chaplains and the volunteers and then our medical director will be Dr. Ben Owens and he will be very closely involved in all the patient's care as well. That's great. He's yeah. a good doctor. He's a wonderful doctor. Yeah. I look forward to working with him. That's good. Let's see a patient room. I'm all right. excited. Come this way.